Hey guys, Nick Jonas here. Um, and I never thought I'd be reviewing an album like this, but it was suggested in the comments of my first ever video, my Fleetwood Mac Rumours video. I'm going to be reviewing the Jonas Brothers Lines, Vines and Trying Times as request by my personal friend, Henry Shaw. Now I'll be honest, I shit on a lot of Henry Shaw's music taste because most of it is pretty bad, trashy pop. But, you know, I thought I'd give it a chance because I'm reviewing music that I think I'm going to find good as well as bad to completely broaden my taste. So let's just go straight into it. We're going to go track by track, overall negatives, overall positives, and then a final album rating. The first track on this album is World War Three, And I'll be honest, this album actually starts off kind of strong. This isn't even a bad track. The instrumentation is actually quite nice and the theme of the song is good. The lyrics do get very, very cringe at times. But trust me, it's nowhere near the worst of the worst of this album in terms of lyrics. Um, so yeah, it does get a little bit cringe at times and a little bit sad. But aside from that, it's pretty decent instrumentation. It's kind of catchy chorus. It's an all right song. And the next track on the album is Paranoid. Now, I really, really hate to admit it, but I also like this song. This song was kind of like, it was a lot more chill and mellow, but it wasn't doing that while being boring, which is a common theme with a lot of the songs in this album. It has quite a good meaning instead of just girl, I want you, girl, I love you, you know, that kind of like trashy pop, chart topping rubbish. Um, it actually had meaning being paranoid in a relationship. And I actually thought it was good because it was a Jonas Brothers song that actually had meaning, had a decent instrumental and didn't get boring. So personally, it's probably one of my favourites off of the uh, entire track list. The next song on the album is Fly With Me. Now, I actually didn't really enjoy this one. Um, what a surprise. It's actually surprising that it took me until the third track to not enjoy a song in here, which, you know, is kind of surprising considering what I was thinking before I was coming into this album. I thought I'd give it an awful review. But, you know, this one was just kind of mildly uninteresting. Another ca just catchy pop chorus, but annoyingly catchy, not in the catchy that makes you want to stand up and belt it out type of way. It was just kind of boring, uninteresting and bland. It wasn't necessarily bad, it didn't make me go, ugh, but it just wasn't anything special, so it's a pretty mid song to me. Fourth song on the album is Poison Ivy. Now, this is another song that I didn't mind off the album. The lyrics are very, very cheesy, but they are in this kind of sweet way and the kind of analogy they use with Poison Ivy. Uh, the chorus does get really, really repetitive towards the end, but the first couple of times it's used, it's actually used quite well. And uh, I kind of enjoyed this song. Interesting bass line and drums. Uh, the guitar does sound a bit generic in comparison to the rest of the album, but I just didn't mind this one because it was kind of kind of cute. You know, it was kind of all right, unlike some of the other tracks in this album. Next song on the album is Hey Baby. Now, this is the first song that I can confidently say I really disliked. Uh, the kind of funk, bassy influence on here just doesn't pay off at all. It doesn't suit Nick Jonas's voice at all, and it really, really, really annoys me to hear that kind of ma mix. It's not some sort of cute contrast. It's just kind of degrading and grating to listen to it's really really annoying and and jarring and obnoxious and the song just kind of repeats this chorus and has an interesting verse and it's just not nice to listen to it's not nice on the ears at all next we have before the storm which is probably one of the most boring songs i have ever listened to marley cyrus's feature is barely noticeable because she has basically no presence in the song the jonas brothers are basically taking over which is not a good thing it just kind of drowns out and becomes a bit annoying, this song. Yeah, it has a couple of moments where it goes a bit quiet and it experiments a little bit with dynamics, but it just doesn't do it enough for it to have any sort of emphasis on me as a listener at all. Next we have What I Did To Your Heart, which is genuinely one of the most jarring songs I've ever listened to. It just, the chorus keeps on repeating. And I'm like, are we gonna get to something else? Sure, there are verses, but once the final score chorus starts playing, it plays for another two minutes with different instrumental interludes that just don't work together or contrast well at all. It's just grating and it hurts my ears to listen to. The next one on here is much better, which is my least favorite because it's just so boring. It kind of has this, not even catchy chorus, not even a shitty, catchy, poppy chorus. It just, it's boring, you know? It just, he just repeats the word you a bunch of times with a bunch of different shit similes. The instrumental is boring and not like completely not unique in the slightest. It's so, so, so late. Like you've heard it a billion times and there's just nothing interesting about this song at all. Honestly, like a three out of 10, two out of 10 song. Black Keys and another cut off this album, which is just boring to listen to. The chorus is kind of all right on this one, but still the verses just drown me out with how boring they are and how much unoriginality and when they try to be original it does not pay off at all in the lyrics very very boring i'm up to 16 seconds recording this specific clip 
and I still have nothing to say about the song, which just shows how boring and forgettable most of the track list on this album is. Just a complete skip, really. Next, we have probably my favourite song on the album, Don't Charge Me For The Crime, and it is mainly for the common feature of him being real. He does actually add a bit of interesting flavour into this song. The instrumental isn't that bad, and the chorus isn't that bad to listen to. It's kind of like a little bit different from all the awful pop songs on here. Um, it's probably my personal favourite of the album. I give it a 7 out of 10 as a song because it's actually decent to listen to. All right chorus, all right instrumentals. It was kind of reminiscent of the first two songs of the album, which weren't, you know, like painful to listen to. Turn Right, another completely forgettable song off the track list. I just had to re-listen to it now to actually have any sort of idea of what it sounded like, which just shows how boring and forgettable most of the instrumentals become. You know, they put some decent instrumentals in the first two songs and Don't Charge Me For The Crime, and then for the rest, just basically splat the same chord sequences in different keys with worse lyrics, worse themes, and it's just kind of representative of how boring this album is. I feel the complete same about Don't Speak If I'm Being Real. It's just Completely boring, unoriginal, not unique. Completely boring, unoriginal, sad to listen to, just mm, annoying. Next song on here is Keep It Real. Now, I don't actually mind this one all that much. Um, You know, like the instrumental is interesting and it actually feels full and kind of full of life. The vocal delivery on this one isn't that bad and it's an all right outro to the song there's just nothing special about it there's nothing i can mention that's incredible just decent performances from every instrument and the vocalist so an all right way to end this not so great album now to go over the overall negatives of this album all the songs sound the same you know there are a couple highlights of some more interesting chord sequences but as soon as you hear the first song you go the entire album is going to sound like just a worse version of this and that's pretty much how it goes on. It's just grading, grading, grading. Nick Jonas's vocals just don't f suit the instrumentals at all. And he sounds like he's trying way too hard at sometimes. Some really uninspired, boring performances. And the instrumentals on here, as I mentioned, are just degrading to listen to at times because you just feel like you've heard them a million times over and over and over again. And it just gets to a point where you're like, I don't want to listen to this album anymore. I nearly couldn't make it through it. I was thinking I don't really want to make a review, but you know, there are a few highlights in here, so I'll allow it. The positives I'll give are that there are actually like, you know, a couple decent songs. And by that, I mean free. World War Free, because it has an interesting theme and a, some slightly more catchy motif that it repeats throughout the song. Um, Paranoid, because it actually has a good thing to say about love instead of just I love you, baby. And a uh, common feature, um, Don't Charge Me For The Crime, which is actually a decent song. Because of these three highlights, they very much saved the album from being rated very lowly. So overall for this album, I'm feeling a strong 4, a 4.8 out of 10. What did you think of this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Please tell me in the comments. Comment down below other albums that you want me to listen to or artists which you want me to rank their discography of. Literally just anything you want me to give my opinion of musically. Um, thank you for watching. I've been Nick Jonas.